What is going on, people? Steven is back at it again, going crazy with the leaks in the Ashes of Creation Discord, right before today's Q&A, giving us all sorts of things, such as Ranger and Fighter teases, where they are with Unreal Engine upgrades, and what the next live stream is going to feature. And not making you wait any longer, we now know that the September livestream will be focused around world events, not to be confused with the story arc events that we saw back in March. According to Steven, world events are pop-up challenges that exist within the open areas of the wilderness or points of interest that anyone can join. They will adapt in difficulty to player strength and last around 20 to 30 minutes, although some can be longer. This month's stream will talk about wave events, so they pretty much sound as traditional world events that pop up in MMOs having you go out and complete an objective in a certain amount of time to get some rewards, which I imagine will have some cool twists on them, knowing Intrepid, but we will have to wait until the end of September to really find out what. As I said, Steven stated that the focus will be wave events, which I presume mean events that spawn having you fight or complete multiple ways of objectives before the ultimate goal at the last wave of the event. So really, based on the little information we have, nothing really that over the top. World events aren't exactly a new component to Ashes. We have heard bits and pieces on them way back in various streams, talking about how they may have some story-driven interruptions such as blocking off roads, having bosses spawn, mobs show up that aren't expected, which could lead to things such as climate change, plagues, volcanic eruptions, forest fires, and other natural disasters. Although these impacts seem something similar to what story arcs can do to the world, so perhaps these things have changed since we last heard of them and maybe they've blended together or separated a bit. But it'll be really cool to see this month regardless. Speaking of streams though, Steven also teased an upcoming stream involving what he is calling war mechanics, which I presume will dive more into declaring wars and how they work overall. We can add this to the long list of confirmed upcoming streams along with a caravan stream, artisan system stream, rogue reveal, bard reveal, a few more node streams, an updated character creator stream, and presumably the fighter tank and ranger reworks that have been teased as well. So if all of these streams are happening before alpha 2, well, gonna be a long road ahead. But even today, Steven gave some fighter and ranger teases, where Steven talks about a new ranger specific mechanic referred to as hunts, which are also a school of the ranger augments. They can confer a number of different types of effects to your target, and Steven states that the FX are particularly fun. These hunts are delivered through attacks and do no interaction with any pets. He also teased a bit of the fighter with what he is calling their momentum mechanic, but he doesn't really go on specifics on what this is, so I guess we'll have to wait for an upcoming stream to find out. But the biggest leak I think to come out of all of this is involving Unreal Engine 5. Steven stated that they just completed their integrations of Unreal Engine 5.2, which is huge news. Unreal Engine 5.1 included a ton of graphical bugs to the game that are said to be resolved when they make that 5.2 jump. And now that we know this update is applied, we should see even more graphical improvements in the upcoming live stream. I presume this is something that was finished after they showed us the nodes two weeks ago, but Steven didn't actually say. 5.2 also included a lot of framework for procedurally generated content, which made very realistic environments, although I imagine this will not be something Intrepid uses as handcrafted worlds are a much better fit for MMORPGs. But it also includes what is called Substrate, which is a new way of giving you more control over the look and feel of objects used within games. Steven went on to say that they will probably not begin the 5.3 upgrade until the end of the year, but does actually confirm they're making that upgrade by saying this, which for those who missed it, I made a video on this last week, 5.3 was just released, which enables Nanite on terrain, which will greatly increase the performance and quality of games as you won't need to decrease polygon counts as you move away from objects and increase them as you get closer. It also adds some cool fog mechanics with lighting and allows you to add skeletons to models in engine, which could save a lot of time. Overall, everything Steven dropped in the Discord is massive and these leaks did an excellent job at building up the excitement for the next few months. Now, Steven, we just needed to throw in some spot testing announcements. Anyways, are you excited to learn more about world events and Ashes of Creation? Drop a comment down below, and if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below, where you can then jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Era. Otherwise, be sure to stay tuned for a lot more to come.